Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Robin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the HVDC link parameter numerical number 3. So let's talk about uh, this numerical number 3 which uh, let's start firstly with the reading of this numerical. So this numerical is saying that uh, HVDC link has the following parameters okay uh, so it is a kind of hvdc link not the ac transmission it is a hvdc uh, link and uh, the sum of the parameters which are defined and the ac line voltages at the rectifier terminals is 320 kilovolt when delivering a load of uh, 500 megawatt 500 megawatt it means 500 into 10 raised to power 6 it is going to be at uh, 335 kilovolt that is 335 into 10 raised to power 3 but all the things all the values which are given here and this is on the rectifier side okay so let's uh, concentrate on this that is on the rectifier side the inverter operator with or uh, that is the inverter operates at hoga it operates with mu that is a 21.5 degree x reactance that is the 58 ohm x inverter that is the 57 ohm and the R line that is the resistance of the line that is given 3 ohm. So now we have to given we have given that uh, we have to calculate the value of the alpha AC line CT and the power factor at the rectifier and the third is your AC line current voltage power factor at the inverter end. Now let's talk about the solutions. So DC current ID at the rectifier it is given as the DC current ID which is given at the rectifier side is uh, what will be the current it will be uh, simply the power upon the voltage what is the, actually the power the power is from here that is a 500 megawatt so you have to just put the values here so it will be the 500 into 10 raised to power 3 not the 3 it will be 10 raised to power 6 only okay because the megawatt is given and upon 335 kilovolt so it will be 10 raised to power 3 okay and then you are going to cancel these values and uh, after the simplification oh, one second after the this will be cut here and after the simplification that is a 500 upon 335 and multiply by the thousand then you are going to get 1493 ampere current so what is that current that is the current for the dc link because as you know there are the th there are the rectifiers and uh, here is your inverter and it between, between them there is a smoothing reactor and okay likewise this is going to be operated and this is a link which type of link dc link is to be operated here the three phase is to be there okay so dc current id at the rectifier at the rectifier that is a 500 upon into 10 to the power 6 upon 335 now this formula you have already seen that uh, in the lectures we have already covered that what is that 335 that is the 3 root 2 upon pi vl cos alpha 3 xl upon pi into id so if we talk about this value so then this is the voltage value and this is going to be here the values we have discussed so this is the simplest formula which we have discussed already so what is actually 335 this is this is the load voltages okay so this is 335 into uh, equal to and this 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 just you have to put the values which are which are actually given that is the 3 root 2 once again 3 root 2 upon pi VL is what? VL is what? That is a line voltage, AC line voltage, that is a 320. And where is it is given? 320 kilovolt. Okay, that is on the inverter side, 320. And that will be the cos alpha. Alpha is you have given with the one second. Alpha, where is alpha given? Alpha we have to actually find, and uh, this is the 10 raised to power plus 3. Now 3 into 58 upon pi and 1493 into 10 to the power 3 that is the id value which is given here after the solution and calculations so firstly you have to rearrange and after the rearrangement just you have to uh, 
make the cos alpha value on the one side and uh, change, uh, or you can say the rearrange them or uh, rest of the terms to the right side so that after the calculations you are going to get the alpha is equal to 14.9 degree now ac line current is given by il is equal to root 6 upon pi into id please remember this this formula is going to be used most of the numericals now that is il is equal to root 6 upon pi id that is 1164 ampere now what will be the ac power as you know the ac power is equal to root 3 vl il cos phi what is the vl that is the line voltage what is the I, uh, il that is the line current and cos theta this is the power factor so just you have to put the values and you will get the answer so what is the actually the ac power that is a 500 into 10 to the power 6 root 3 and what is the vl that is the 320 into 10 to the power 3 and uh, what is the i okay i l actually it is going to be the same it is going to be same here okay one second uh, this is going to be same here and uh, that is a 1164 that is i l vl value is written here now the same that this will be here or uh, copied here and there is a cos theta and when the cos theta is a uh, term then it is called 0 0.778 so after the calculation you just have to make the cos theta on the left side and uh, divide by the rest of the terms you were the only left with the cos theta and something value that is a cos theta is equal to 0 0.775 take the theta as a cos inverse 0 0.77 then you will get the answer for that now now we will go for the what is the actual voltage drop between the inverter and the rectifier so that can be easily find vdr and that is idr it is v rect and the v inverse we rectify the voltage across the actor rectifier and this is a voltage across the inverter after the simplification as we have to find the inverter side voltage then inverter side voltage is going to be rectifier side voltage that is a v rect minus idr so that will be here okay now what will you do you are going to just make the simple rearrangement so just what you have to do v invert and uh, the rectifier side voltage that is a v rectifier that is a 335 into 10 raised to the power uh, 3 this is a 335 kv and which is given uh, as a load and this is all on the rectifier side now so this is after the simplification you are only going to get the 330.5 kilovolt now now we will apply for the same here we we are going to use vdi that is the inverter side voltage okay so 3 root 2 upon pi vli cos gamma where in the inverter side we have used cos alpha now the rest is same 3 upon pi here is also the 3 upon pi and uh, we are having the id into xi xi is the inverter side reactance after the some simplifications and the rearrangement you are going to get the vli is equal to 327.7 kilovolt and what will be the inverter power simple the voltage into current what voltage the voltage across the or voltage uh, to the inverter side and the current flowing through the hvdc link you just have to multiply and you are going to get uh, the inverter power 493.1 so that 493.1 and that is a megawatt then the power factor at the inverter terminals is going to be 493.1 into 10 raised to power 6 root 3 327.7 that is the voltage value and the current we have already found here that is here yeah, that is a root 6 upon pi into i so after the calculations you are going to add 0 0.747 so here the cos theta is uh, value is more here the cos theta value is less okay so this is all about this numerical i hope you have understood all the points which i have taken you just have to calculate because the calculation uh, is your actually part i have uh, um, i have dictated all the points which are related with this numerical if the similar kind of numericals is coming in your exam so i i hope you can easily crack them so uh, i hope you have understood all the points which i have uh, taken for you in this numerical thank you so much